It's Press Pass with Jack Ebling, Mid Michigan Spirited Sports Debate. Now let's get talking sports. Here's Jack. Good evening, Mid Michigan and beyond, and welcome to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Prep football season has begun, and a Mid Michigan team is favored to win a second state championship in 2021 two in one calendar year. Michigan State, uh, beginning five nights from now at Northwestern in its opener, a conference game. Michigan beginning year seven with Jim Harbaugh as head coach the following afternoon versus Western Michigan. And a team from Taylor in suburban Detroit is the first Michigan team to be a Little League world champion since 1959. Detroit Lions finished preseason play without a victory, looking very much like the team that is picked to finish with the second overall pick in the NFL draft. Time to meet Team 413, Rico Beard, longtime Detroit radio and TV personality, Spex Howard, broadcast instructor, recruiting insider, and he is co-host of The Valenny Show with Rico on 97.1 The Ticket. Rico, you ready for some football? Jack, I am. I mean, it was so nice watching some high school football earlier this week at Wayne State, looking at that Illinois-Nebraska game. That was so much fun, too. I, I just, I don't know. I, I think we all need to pump the brakes a little bit because it normally takes about a quarter for teams to really start kicking this thing into gear. So don't expect fireworks on the very first play at Northwestern Michigan State fans. Also want to welcome Tom Crawford, Blue Valley Tom. He's my broadcast partner for 19 plus years, a regular regular contributor to the Wolverine.com and creator of the Crawford Podcasting Network. Tom, how are you? Well, I'm doing great because all of a sudden I'm feeling confident that Michigan's going to beat Ohio State on that last Saturday in November because Taylor North beat that Ohio team in the Little League World Series from Hamilton. So uh, no more OHIO we're hearing after the game. I was ecstatic, and so I got hope when the Wolverines take on the Buckeyes. How's that? Is this what happens when your football team doesn't win? Ann Ann Arbor, and is it possible uh, anyone can come over and tell them how it's done? (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) I don't know. I I just got caught up in that Little League thing. It 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 was just so refreshing. And after the game, they weren't, you know, jawing at each other or anything like that. It was was pretty pretty nice. That's, That's Americana if you've ever seen it. Small victories, Tom. This is what happens when your football team doesn't win. Small I'll hang victories. on to anything I can. Just beat That's that team so down south. Well, they got a nice trophy, not just juice boxes. Yeah. We'll be back and our Going Green segment up next, talking Michigan State. Don't live a common life. March to a different beat. Dance your own dance. Be bold. Be purposeful. Stand up for what's right. You're here for a reason. So use your God-given gifts to serve your neighbors. Because you know that all people deserve dignity and love. When you live life like that, it's uncommon. Concordia University, Ann Arbor. Live uncommon. First, there was Vegas. Then, Atlantic City. Now, your pocket. DraftKings has an online casino where you can play your favorite games whenever and wherever you want. Slots. Blackjack, live dealer games, and more. We'll even give you $50 in free credits and a deposit bonus up to $1,500 to get started. Viva Lost DraftKings. Download the app or visit us online. Try DraftKings Casino today with our exclusive offer and experience the casino floor like never before. If you're struggling to pay your bills, help is available. Come to one of the free financial pandemic relief fairs on Tuesday, August 31st at the Geyer Community Center or Wednesday, September 1st at the Alfreda Schmidt Community Center. The Lansing Board of Water and Light and more than a dozen local partners are ready to help connect you with dollars and resources available for rent and mortgage, utility, food, and child care assistance all in one place. Visit lbwl.com for details. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. At Dean Transportation, we call it our passion. It's simply who we are. 60 years of pioneering the best health and safety standards because safe student transportation is essential. We are hardworking folks, connecting children to learning, schools to our communities, and you to a better career. 
Want to make mid-Michigan a better place? We'll put you in the driver's seat. Join the Dean family today and help to connect our kids to brighter futures. At Graf Chevrolet in Oakmouth, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafochemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Going Green segment brought to you by Graf Chevrolet and Graf Nissan on West Grand River in Okemos. With 107 years in the automobile business, they'll take great care of you as they have on all seven of my leases and purchases. For a new or used vehicle, go green, go Graf. There you see Mark D'Antonio and Tom Izzo watching Michigan State football practice. Rico Beard, we're talking about the winningest football and basketball coaches in MSU history and the uh, second winningest hoops coach in the Big Ten. Uh, when you talk to D'Antonio protege Mel Tucker, as we both did on our shows last week, you hear how much he's learned from both men from what you've seen of Mel in the past 18 and a half months, what's the biggest difference between D'Antonio and his protege from their days in East Lansing and Columbus? I think when it comes to Mel Tucker, he's ready to take it to that next level. D'Antonio took it to a certain point, and I think Mel Tucker has taken it from that point and going beyond, where D'Antonio was like, okay, it was really, let's try to, you know, just find those diamonds in the rough. Let's mix them in with some four-star kids if we can and just really build a program. Tucker's going to take that program that he built, but he's also going nationwide trying to bring in national recruits, kids from Georgia, kids from Arizona, kids from Florida. And I think he's willing to go that next level, Jack, when he told me basically in his mind, if this person, if this play can't help me beat Ohio State, then, you know, we don't need this person. We don't need this play. Maybe that's the attitude that you need if you're going to match the 40-5 and five run that D'Antonio had uh, from 2012 through early 2016. Uh, Tom, the Spartans open on the road against defending Big Ten West champ Northwestern. As we look at the 2021 schedule, how important is that outcome, and why do you say that Tuck's team has a chance to be 5-1 and one when it plays at Indiana? Well, yeah, I, I you know, I, I have you know, Michigan State 5-2 and two when they come, when they play Michigan. So uh, Indiana's going to be a loss, but I, I, I'll just tell you what, how I have this season playing out for Michigan State. I mean, this is a W for Michigan State against Northwestern. I'm going to tell you why. First of all, it's probably going to be more than half Michigan State fans. Northwestern is an on-again, off-again program. They were, they've been on now that it's time to be off. That's the way they do it. They go, it's a roller coaster ride. <laughs> they've lost a lot of players. They lost their top running back, and they lost their top lineman. So, I mean, I, don't, I, I will be shocked, and maybe I'm overstating that, if Michigan State doesn't win this game. Michigan State's got a more physical approach. All the practices have been physical. I think we're going to see a different look to this team. And Pat Fitzgerald was concerned by, I talked to him at the Big Ten media days that he says, they got so many new players. I, I, it's really tough to play them in the first game. First game. I don't really have a read on their personnel. So I got this a W for Michigan State. Michigan State needs it to get to that seven and five mark that I project them to. Somehow the Wildcats are still a three point favorite, Tom. Uh, Rico, you said last Sunday that you were pretty sure Peyton Thorne would start at quarterback. Graham Couch thought so, too, uh, until the open practice Monday night. And uh, midway through, he said, oh, this is really too close to call. And Colton Pouncey of The Athletic, who spends more time covering Michigan State football than either of us, thinks that uh, it could very well be Anthony Russo. Uh, would you expect both players to take meaningful snaps before the trip to Miami? No, I think that once they make their pick of who's going to be the quarterback, I think that's going to be the quarterback until Miami because after that, if, if the first if the quarterback that they pick is going to not really live up to expectations, you make that move after the Hurricane game. But 
you know, when you play Youngstown State, it's, it's kind of unrealistic. It's like fool's gold. So whoever plays in that game is going to have great stats, probably. So, no, I think that you're going to see one quarterback and they're just going to stick with that quarterback. And I, you know what? I still feel good about Peyton Thorne, especially if Graham Couch thinks it's going to go the other way. <laughs> Tom, uh, Michigan State lost a great Spartan this week. Uh, be- behind the scenes hero, a uh, guy who did so much for decades in student athlete support. Uh, Jim Pignataro battling a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma uh, with the fury that the Spartans compete against Michigan. And uh, they're going to have a celebration at 7 p.m. Wednesday outside the Smith Center uh, on the football practice fields. Um, Jim's life continues through those he helped so much. Uh, you know some of the people who work behind the scenes and uh, fans don't see them. They don't show up on television. But for the student athletes and talking to Darian Harris about guys like this, they're the ones who really make it happen. Yeah, the key word behind the scenes that, and then, then the players. You saw it on. I saw it on social media with a countless Michigan State players. Chris Fry Jr. A lot, a lot of them are saying, you know, they were really, really touched by this guy. And I mean, playing college football is hard especially at that high level. And you need that behind the scenes support. And it sounded like Jim was just amazing in that role. And you yeah. can feel the outpouring of love from uh, about that loss. Well, very few of them will play in the pros, but the ones who have degrees and are successful can thank the Jim Pignataros. We'll be right back. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. At Dean Transportation, we call it our passion. It's simply who we are. 60 years of pioneering the best health and safety standards because safe student transportation is essential. We are hardworking folks, connecting children to learning, schools to our communities, and you to a better career. Want to make mid-Michigan a better place? We'll put you in the driver's seat. Join the Dean family today and help to connect our kids to brighter futures. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. When you take a look inside Dart Bank, you'll find a banking experience like no other. You'll find that each of our banking offices are made of local people making local decisions. Even through these challenging times, our teams and lobbyists stayed open, ready to help you through all your banking and mortgage needs when you needed us most. So if you're looking to upgrade where you bank, we invite you to come see our Dart difference. After all, we've been doing this for over 94 years. Dart Bank, for what matters most. Dr. Sheldon Cooper. Cool. Redefined. DraftKings Sportsbook has same game parlays for the NFL season. Okay, even I can do that. So what should we do? We take the underdog, the over, and both QBs over 300 yards. Smooth. I like it. No one still does that. 76% of people follow a fist bump with a boom. Parlay, ole, ole, ole. Wrong football. Hip, hip. Holly! Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and feel the NFL action like never before. For the line crew. And the go-getters. For shoulders to lean on. And backs that don't break. For everyday heroes keeping doors open, lights on, and gears turning, there's Granger. Supplies and solutions for every industry, plus 24-7 support and over 250 local branches. Call, clickranger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Out of the Blue segment, talking Michigan Wolverines. Brought to you by nobody. With a shout out to Ernie Johnson and the Ernie's Nito stat of the night on Inside the NBA, uh, the stat in question is how many years it will be 
before the Michigan Wolverines win another Big Ten championship. And the last time that happened, its current freshmen were in diapers. Uh, Tom Crawford, let's take a look at Jim Harbaugh's first six seasons as a prodigal son head coach. What is a bigger problem for alums of the Wolverines? Uh, the 4-9 record against MSU since 2008, the 1-15 record against Ohio State since 2004, or an, a lack of national relevance, just one bowl win in the last nine seasons? Well, I mean, for me, it's a 1-15 for Michigan against Ohio State. I and mean, Ohio State still sits at the core of the passion of the Michigan fan. It shouldn't be that way. It isn't for me. It's Michigan State. But I'm a little bit different than everybody else in that regard. Uh, the 0-5 that Harbaugh's had. And then just these embarrassing losses to Ohio State. But I'm telling you what's been gnawing at Michigan fans and it's starting to evolve more in their frustration is is letting Michigan State beat them last year. I mean, that was ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, that when that you know, that banging their head against the wall and not being motivated. Michigan State is a huge game on October 30th. He has to win that game. He's going to keep his job. Rico Beard, uh, let's take another look at U of M's schedule. Which game will be the biggest win and which will be the greatest disappointment? <clears throat> biggest win jack probably da, 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 da. i don't know tom is that is that penn state game at home no it's on the road uh, it won't be that game then maybe indiana <laughs> How maybe about the indiana game rico i think that's going to be their biggest disappointment jack i think that Ooh. come halloween that's when all of a sudden that seat's going to get really hot losing to ohio state's acceptable Losing to Penn State, losing Wisconsin, acceptable. It is never acceptable to Michigan fans to ever lose to Michigan State, especially a Mel Tucker team that's just getting started. That I, I, I think they're going to circle the wagons much like the Nebraska fans did against Scott Frost yesterday. Tom, it looks like Cade McNamara will be the starting quarterback, at least for the opener, but – Heralded freshman J.J. McCarthy is chomping at the bit, and Texas Tech transfer Alan Bowman didn't come from Lubbock just to escape the heat. Uh, could this be the Wolverines' best situation behind center since Chad Henney in 2007, or are there worries with these three, too? Well, Bowman's not even going to be a factor at all. I, I, I promise you that right now. It's, it's J. you know, it, K. McNamara, J.J. McCarthy, th those are the two kids. And, and it's probably going to be one starting and then the other one's going to take over the, the two freshmen. But that's not, the, that's, that's not their biggest problem. I'm not worried about quarterback. I'm worried, in fact, that they don't have a disruptive defense. I'm worried about their secondary gift, still giving up big plays. I know Mike McDonald, they talk about this. Either we're going to be playing downhill and doing all this variety of things. They got to they gotta stop a good offense and not let the ball get behind them. And then they got to be able to run the football, guys, against a good defense. Washington has a good defense. Washington has a good team. Michigan will not be able to run the football against Washington, and that's why they're going to lose. And, that, and that's why they're going to end up 8-4 at best. Tom, I'm so proud of you. That's called personal growth right there. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've heard oh. so much about – Donovan Edwards, and you've got Haskins, and you've got Corum there in matter. the backfield. Uh, uh, I want to take a look, Rico, at 10 of the nation's top freshmen, and there you see Donovan Edwards checking in at number eight. Uh, is the good news where Edwards is on this list and J.J. McCarthy, or is it that the number one, two, and six positions are all Buckeyes? I think the Buckeye thing is going to be the one that really hurts, Jack, but uh, especially Travion Henderson at running back for them. For Michigan, I, I mean, I don't understand. I think Michigan already has the running back, and they keep trying to push this man out every year instead of just going. Tom, what, I'm losing. What's the starting running back's name? Hassan, Hassan ha Haskins, who's a yeah, physical Haskins. back. That's the guy, yes. Yep, I agree. If you're worried about spoiling your dinner with any of our dollar sliders from 2 to 5 p.m. at Arby's, do what I do. Order a dollar shake to take your mind off it. Arby's, we have the meat. 
If you're struggling to pay your bills, help is available. Come to the Financial Pandemic Relief Fair, Tuesday, August 31st, or Wednesday, September 1st, where the Lansing Board of Water and Light and more than a dozen community partners are ready to help. Visit lbwl.com for details. Oh, just one. Jake from State Farm, it's the least I can do. You really did me a solid with that, uh, Maya markdown on my insurance. Here's the deal, Maya. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. <gasps> right. No, really, there are no markdowns, just great rates. Pull around back in 20 minutes. I'll hook you up with the good parts. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. At Dean Transportation, we call it our passion. It's simply who we are. 60 years of pioneering the best health and safety standards because safe student transportation is essential. We are hardworking folks, connecting children to learning, schools to our communities, and you to a better career. Want to make mid-Michigan a better place? We'll put you in the driver's seat. Join the Dean family today and help to connect our kids to brighter futures. At Graf Chevrolet in Oakmouth, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafochemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. When you take a look inside Dart Bank, you'll find a banking experience like no other. You'll find that each of our banking offices are made of local people making local decisions. Even through these challenging times, our teams and lobbies stayed open, ready to help you through all your banking and mortgage needs when you needed us most. So if you're looking to upgrade where you bank, we invite you to come see our Dart difference. After all, we've been doing this for over 94 years. Dart Bank, for what matters most. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for the big picture, brought to you by Dean Transportation. Dean is hiring caring and dependable people as school bus drivers in many Michigan markets. Be a hero in your community and safely transport children to and from school with Dean. For more information and to apply, visit deantransportation.com slash jobs. That's deantransportation.com slash jobs. <laughs> You took care of a big Big Ten West opponent at home. That's a step in the right direction, right? All right. Everything's in place. Great win, boys! Win number one for Coach B. Okay, I pull up. How about at the after party? You and all your friends say they love to get naughty. Sipping on the heat, I know you love to have a party. 1942, I take you back in the raw. Okay, I pull up. What's the old Barry Sanders uh, idea there? Hand the ball to the official and act like you've done it before. Uh, <laughs> Illinois hadn't done it very often before, at least not recently. And it showed in the jubilation in game one of the Brett Bielema era. Tom Crawford, what did you think of Bielema's debut and the wild post-game scene in Champaign-Urbana? Well, you know, good for Illinois. I mean, don't fake like you've been there because you haven't been there. <laughs> and then uh, when Brandon Peters goes down, which he did a lot at Michigan, uh, he's had some bad luck, and I don't know how bad he is. They bring in this transfer from Rutgers, Sitkowski, and he comes in yeah. and delivers. He 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 made some big time throws in that game. Uh, not a huge arm, but they won the game. They had the big lead. They let it slip away, but they held on. And I know the crowd was probably deceiving with the with the camera angles that you were talking about earlier. But I thought that was a good, good support level from from the Illini fan. I thought that was great. It was 96 degrees out there, and they yeah. showed up, and they're excited about this new coach uh, who's been around, and uh, so they're one and zero. So it's all good in Champaign. Uh, Bielema did get a lot of students there. Now, the Illini alums not convinced yet, but uh, they're still thinking about what basketball season is going to be. Uh, Rico, I want to take our first look at the Big Ten standings this season, or at least the West Division. Should Illinois fans take a photo of this? And is Scott Frost in more trouble than Jim Harbaugh? 
Oh my God, are we really doing this? Yes, <laughs> Illinois fans, this was probably going to be the only time you're going to be in first place solo by yourself. Is Scott Frost in more trouble? Uh, no, Jack. Actually, the twenty million dollar buyout may keep Scott Frost there a little bit longer than a lot of Nebraska fans want to believe, because that's that's still a lot of money. And I know, oh, let's just get some booster to pay it out. The problem is, if a booster pays out that twenty million bucks, guess what? They kind of own the next coach, and they can pick and choose who they want because they kind of paid for it. Yeah, I mean, with Jim Harbaugh having no buyout. I think it's easier to get rid of him than Scott Frost. Uh, The thing is, Rico, that the Cornhusker alums kind of pick this coach. And it's a lot like the Michigan situation where there was such a drumbeat. So many people wanted the prodigal son. Now they're not. Can't argue this point, man. I can't Uh, argue anything that you said, Jack. That's why your name's on the show. (laughs) Rico, let's take a look at this week's slate of games, including four big conference matchups. Can you give me a couple of upsets in these opening week games? Oh, man. Um, Hold the trigger. Come on. Do it. Do it, Rico. Do it. (laughs) I mean, I'm looking at it. Maybe looking at Penn State at Wisconsin could be one. Uh, and maybe Maryland over West Virginia. Okay. Well, technically, if Michigan State beats Northwestern, that is a that is an upset. You know what? You're right, Jack. That is an upset. That you, I, you are correct. So yes, and Michigan State over Nebraska. And Tom, I can't just interest for you, you in Western Michigan as a long shot winner in Ann Arbor, huh? Come on, Rico. Come I don't on. think it's that big of a long shot. I think. I think Western Michigan has everything it takes to beat Michigan in that game. And honestly, I wouldn't consider it an upset if Western Michigan won. Well, just say I heard the Broncos are going to be watching the 2007 uh, App State game all week in Kalamazoo just to realize what that game, Toledo, everybody else who's been in Ann Arbor and won. I mean, it's a revolving door. It's not even special winning in Ann Arbor anymore. Tom, uh, we've all seen the AP preseason top 25. Uh, We take another look at that. Uh, Which team is ranked too high? Uh, Which one's destined to drop at least 10 spots? Oh, that's an easy one for me. The Iowa State Cyclones, because this is all new territory, and they've never been there before, and they snuck up on people last year. I know they got a lot of people back, and Matt Campbell is the is a hot name in, in college football, but and they're in somewhat of a weak league. Uh, well, uh, well, they're not going to be, you know, they're not as good as Oklahoma, but um, I, I just think that that's, that's just a slide waiting to happen, that Iowa State's going to go down. Tom, you're talking about the Wolverines' next head coach. Be nice. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in just a minute. Talking Tigers and baseball up next. When you take a look inside Dart Bank, you'll find a banking experience like no other. You'll find that each of our banking offices are made of local people making local decisions. Even through these challenging times, our teams and lobbies stayed open, ready to help you through all your banking and mortgage needs when you needed us most. So if you're looking to upgrade where you bank, we invite you to come see our DART difference. After all, we've been doing this for over 94 years. DART Bank, for what matters most. At Graf Chevrolet in Okemos, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles, starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at graphochemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our Peace of Mind program, only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Sports give so many opportunities to kids. It gives them an opportunity to see where they fit within a team, persevere, understanding how to work with different personalities. Those are the lessons that will make you a successful adult. As a mom, you have to have an understanding of what concussions are. Concussions are things that are treatable. If we take care of athletes, they will be able to develop and have a long, happy, healthy life.
Save on quality supplements during the Wyckoff Wellness August Extravaganza. Through August 31st, all Wyckoff Wellness supplements are 20% off, both in our East Lansing store and online. Wyckoff Wellness carries the highest quality of supplements, including multivitamins, omega-3 fish oil, vitamin D, antioxidants, herbal remedies, and more. Supplements for intestinal health, weight loss, memory, sleep, and energy. Save 20% off both at the office and online at wyckoffwellness.com. Since 1972, the Michigan Lottery has provided more than $24.5 billion to support public education. For the past seven years, the Michigan Lottery has recognized outstanding educators from across the state with the Excellence in Education Awards. Congratulations, Janice Smith, the Michigan Lottery's 2021 Educator of the Year. Take time today to nominate an outstanding public educator. Find out more at fox47news.com. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Law of the Jungle segment, brought to you by Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, your healthy alternative to fast food. Eat Woody's and live longer. Stop and see Chuck, Delita, and their terrific staff for the best in Mediterranean food. That's why I'm there every week. There you see A.J. Hinch's comment, and uh, Tigers fans loving this. We're going to reestablish ourselves as a winning franchise and develop a winning culture. If you want to be a part of it, then you'll come. If you don't, then we'll beat you. Words for free agents, kind of bold talk. Uh, Rico Beard, uh, Hinch's comments have people a little bit excited this weekend, as do some of the young players. But when you look at this bravado, is it much different from what new Lions coach Dan Campbell said, talking about kneecapping opponents on the way up? <laughs> it's it's the same and it's different. Here's how it's it's the same because, yes, it sounds good and the fans rally around it. It's different by this. At least with the Lions, you got a sense that, you know what, they're trying to do some things that maybe Holmes – and those guys are going in the same direction for the first time in a long time. With the Tigers, it still comes down to whether Chris Illich and Al Avila wants to go out and spend money and address and bring in free agencies, free agents other than going after Verlander. Can you go out and get a shortstop? Can you go out and add pieces to this team? Sounds great, but I don't think they're going to be able to do it because Chris Illich is cheap. He doesn't have to spend money on his team. He's just going to keep making money. Uh, Tom Crawford, it didn't take Miguel Cabrera nearly as long to go from 500 career home runs to 501 as the time between 499 and 500. As we take a look at the all-time lists for Major League Baseball in hits and home runs, how many homers will he have when he hangs up his swing and that smile? Well, I mean, I figure what well, he's got two years left on his contract, and I think he's yeah. he's kind of like the car that you know you got a lot of miles on. You don't drive it every day. I th- I don't think he's there's gonna be a lot of off days. I think these next two years. I don't know. Maybe he'll hit maybe thirty more. Maybe at the most, maybe twenty or thirty more, and then that will be it. And uh, I'll tell you what, it was great to see it finally happen. It, the pressure's off now. It took he was stuck at four ninety nine. Took several days, and I could feel, you could feel the pressure, and finally. He got it, you know, jacked it there in the opposite field in Toronto, and it's all of a sudden the pressure's off. So, I don't know, 520, 530, maybe not more than that. Uh, that would leave him quite a way short of Albert Pujols, the guy he's often compared with from this generation as uh, the best right-handed hitter. Uh, Rico, let's take a look at a weird five-game week, a lot of one-run contests, and uh, kind of a mixed bag. What do you make of it? I mean, it's just showing that this team is – they're having problems just trying to finish the game out. Jack, this is – they're kind of like the Pistons last year. They're fun to watch. You lower the expectation, and occasionally they're going to win some games they shouldn't, but you're hoping that you can see some pieces for the future, and then you're waiting on Green and Torkelson to come up from the minors, and maybe they can, you know, give that boost of energy that this team needs so badly. What are we learning? about this team through this season, a surprising record, but more important, what are these players learning about themselves that's going to help them in the years to come? 
I think, I mean, you, you found maybe a couple of pieces that could stick around and, and stay with you. I mean, Akil Badu was a guy they got in the Rule 5 draft. He was just kind of a throwaway player, and yeah. he turned out to be something. He started off the season really fast, and then it cooled down for a second, but I think you got a, you know, a nice everyday player with him. You're looking at that young staff, and they're starting to come along. You, you have some young pieces in place. Now, I'm not going to say this is the precursor to the 84 team, but you can see some similarities with the younger players and just all coming up at the same time. And once they start learning how to win together, maybe you could add some pieces and turn this thing into something. Maybe that quote will turn out to be prophetic. <laughs> uh, Tom, let's take a look at the Major League Baseball playoffs picture as it stands tonight. And uh, San Francisco Giants, the big yeah. surprise of the year. And I don't know how many people thought that Tampa Bay would have a lead in the American League. Uh, they would have home field advantage throughout the playoffs, and they would get to play the wild card winner. And wouldn't it be wild if the Dodgers and the Yankees were the wild card representative or if they lost one game knockouts in the wild card? Uh, Tom, which teams will we see in the World Series from this group, and which city will be celebrating in early November? Well, it's going to be the city by the bay, or whatever they call, you know, San Francisco, um, over the Dodgers. I'm going back and forth. Those two teams are red hot uh, coming out of the NL, and then I'm going to go with the White Sox, man. Now that they blew yeah. up the Cubs, I mean, that that franchise is just, like, obliterated now. They took all the players away. Yeah. Chicago is going to be – the White Sox are going to be uh, the proud – team of Chicago, ah. so I see them surviving. And uh it's me, no. Tampa. It's Tampa, Tom. They've been <laughs> no, winning everything. It's Tampa. They win everything. <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll talk Lions Pro Football up next. A wise man once said, nothing was certain except death and taxes. Well, add college football to the list because DraftKings Sportsbook's latest offer is a sure thing. New customers bet at least $1 on college football and get $200 in return, no matter what. So death, taxes, and $200 to ring in college football season. Download the app now. Sign up with the promo code. Bet $1 to get two Ben Franklins. See what we did there. And make it rain. Well, Diamonddale Insurance Agency and Auto Owners Insurance want to thank all our dedicated customers during this recent crisis. We hope to see your smiling faces real soon. Call your hometown team today. Take a look inside Dart Bank, you'll find a banking experience like no other. You'll find that each of our banking offices are made of local people making local decisions. Even through these challenging times, our teams and lobbies stayed open, ready to help you through all your banking and mortgage needs when you needed us most. So if you're looking to upgrade where you bank, we invite you to come see our Dart difference. After all, we've been doing this for over 94 years. Dart Bank, for what matters most. Woody's Oasis, your healthy alternative to fast food. Woody's has the best Mediterranean food in town. Stop and see Chuck and Delita. They'll make you feel like family. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff is always willing to help. Hi, how are Hi. you doing today? Do you want to do the homemade bread with it, or did you want to do the thin bread as a side? They'll be sure to put a smile on your face. And as lifelong supporters of MSU Athletics, you never know who might stop by. Eat Woody's and live longer. Coulda, shoulda, Woody's. Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, right next to campus. At Graf Chevrolet in Okemos, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafokemos.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program, only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Tracking a Trophy segment, brought to you by the Ticket Machine at the corner of Mount Hope and Hagedorn. For the best in sports and entertainment ticketing, whenever those events resume, visit Brian and his terrific staff at theticketmachine.com. 
There you see the Detroit Lions' words of support for the state of Michigan's first Little League World Series champions in 62 years. Uh, Rico Beard, the boys from Taylor, got it done, losing just one time in their last 16 games. Do you think the Lions could learn something since they've never been anywhere close to 15-1? and one? No, you can't learn anything from this. This doesn't mean the Lions are going to win. This doesn't mean Michigan's going to beat Ohio State. How about we just give the youngsters their due and just let them bask in the glory all by themselves instead of attaching them to the Lions? Lord knows no one needs to be attached to the Lions. Okay, these kids are 12, Jack. They got their whole life ahead of them. Don't doom them by saying anything Lions related. Tom, and this is spoken by a guy who thinks the Lions can win seven games. Uh, I'm not sure what Honolulu Blue Kool-Aid he's been drinking. Uh, Tom, I, I want to take a look at uh, the preseason here, and I know these games don't matter, right? And uh, got a lot of guys here that we will never see again. Going to be cut, but it was a familiar script being outscored 18-0 in the fourth quarter. As we look at another loss, uh, is there anything to feel good about with this team through this preseason? Well, the only thing that, that I feel good about is they got a football coach in Dan Campbell that looks like a football coach. I mean, <laughs> more than Matt Patricia. I mean, I mean, he just looks like he's a, you know, the kneecap comment really got me going. I mean, I, I, I bought into it. I drank the Lion Kool-Aid. I, I, I drank the, the Dan Campbell Kool-Aid. But, you know, this team is still – and I don't, I don't even know half these names. I, I don't know two-thirds of these names. I mean, the linebacking core is horrible. Uh, there's no depth, and there never is. And I just – I struggle when I look at – the schedule's easy, relatively, uh, but I still struggle to get under seven wins. I mean, I'm, I'm in the maybe even the five to seven range. I just uh, – I'm not excited about this franchise at all this year, Jack. Tom, you're not a Jared Goff believer. I, I'm trying to figure out uh, if he's a good quarterback, why the Rams were so anxious to get rid of him. Exactly. After they took him to the Super Bowl. You, you nailed uh, it. That's exactly, you nailed that. You took the words out of my mouth. Why, why, you know, why they let him go? Yeah, and, and Matthew Stafford, I'm a huge Stafford fan, so that's a big loss. As far he as was Sean concerned. McVay's scapegoat. Sean McVay couldn't just – it was what Wayne Fonts did to every one of his assistants. It's not my fault. It's all of these losers over here. Fire them. Keep me. Eventually, the Fords realized maybe it wasn't all the assistants. Maybe it was you. And that's Sean McVay. He got figured out in the Super Bowl. Bill Belichick figured that team out. They've never been the same since. Check the record. Yeah, everyone talks about how badly he played in the Super Bowl, but the winning quarterback in that Super Bowl led his team to 13 points. So Tom Brady wasn't exactly tearing it up that day either. Uh, Rico, I understand again, okay, this is preseason. This is July and August. I get it. But if you'd bet on every AFC team and bet against every NFC team, uh, you'd be making even bigger money than you are now. Uh, I want to take a look at some of these records. And how do you explain the fact that AFC teams have won 34 times, NFC teams have only won nine games? They just wanted more, Jack. Yeah, you know, who? I mean, some of these teams, coaches aren't even playing their players in the, in the preseason game. So yeah. it's really glorified practice. Take nothing. Extrapolate nothing from that. Remember, the year the Lions went 4-0, they went 0-16. Preseason is worthless, and each year the NFL proves this. Uh, Tom, Rico was surprisingly bullish on the Lions last week. Uh, Vegas over-under is at 5. I want to take a look at the early season schedule here for the Lions. Now we have 17 games, so this is just short of the midpoint. But which opponents in September and October will the Lions beat? Okay, I'm looking at that schedule. L, 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 L. Um, I'll go with, I think they'll beat the Bengals. And I think they'll beat the Gosh. Eagles. And I you think that's the, where it ends. For those, you got for the those Bears. Players. You got the Bears who are really, you got Kirk Cousins pulling a David Blaine. He wants <laughs> to be in a, in a box. <laughs> and the Vikings are reeling. 
So and 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 honestly, circle this game. You want a bold prediction? They they will beat the Rams. Golf no. will do everything he can to no. beat the Rams. Oh, no. You don't think Matthew like, Stafford like will Joey. do everything he can to beat Matthew the Lions? Matthew Stafford will no, throw for no. 400 yards, Rico. No, no, no. The hate with golf, it's like when Joey Harrington came back on Thanksgiving Day and beat the Lions. You knew for that one game he was going to get his revenge. This is Jared Goff's revenge game. Rico, sometimes it's more than hate. And Michigan hates Ohio State. It doesn't yeah, matter. Exactly. You yeah, can't they, get motivated. No, not hate. No, oh, no, trust me. Trust me on this. We'll be right back. We're going to talk about Tom Izzo on the golf course with some of the greatest who ever played. Up next. We've had a lot of COVID patients in the back of our trucks. COVID doesn't care who you are, where you live, or if you're healthy. We have a pretty big feeling that even though the numbers are down right now, we're going to see a pretty big surge by the end of summer, beginning of fall. We don't want to have to see people in our truck because of something that's preventable. So it's your decision to get vaccinated, and I think that you should do it if you're able to. It's safe, and it's time. If all of this makes you happy, then you'll be happy to know that all of this is only $1 each at Arby's from 2 to 5 every day. Hope you like happiness. Arby's, we have the meat. At the Henry Ford Center for Joint Replacement, our team will work with you on a tailored treatment plan to get you back to what you love. For more information or to find out if you're ready for joint replacement, take our joint pain quiz at henryford.com backslash joint pain quiz. All new Friday Night Smackdown at 8 Eastern on Fox. At Graf Chevrolet in Oakmouth, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafochemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. At Dean Transportation, we call it our passion. It's simply who we are. 60 years of pioneering the best health and safety standards because safe student transportation is essential. We are hardworking folks, connecting children to learning, schools to our communities, and you to a better career. Want to make mid-Michigan a better place? We'll put you in the driver's seat. Join the Dean family today and help to connect our kids to brighter futures. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Take It to the Bank segment, brought to you by Dart Bank, dedicated to meeting the needs of our banking community for more than 90 years, with four convenient locations in Mason, Holton South Lansing, Grand Ledge, and the expanded Home Loan Center in Frandor. That's Dart Bank for what matters most. It isn't often we show an 81-year-old uh, hitting a tee shot, but it isn't often Jack Nicholas comes to the state of Michigan and plays golf with Lee Trevino, Tom Izzo, and Red Wings coach Jeff Blaschel for charity, as they did yesterday, uh, in Grand Blank at Warwick Hills. Uh, thanks to the MSU women's golf team for that video, and of course, the men's team was represented by U.S. amateur champion James Pyatt. But the happiest Spartan in Genesee County yesterday had to be Izzo. How about that for a bucket list item? Now he's played with Tiger Woods and Jack Nicklaus. 
Uh, when you think about an opportunity like this, gentlemen, uh, Rico, what bucket list event would you most like to cover? Is there one thing you would love to do in this profession? Uh, Jack, there is one, but you know, there's no such thing as a time machine. I really wish I would have went on that uh, battleship game that they played in North yeah. Carolina. So yeah. cool, especially because my seat, I had a, I didn't go, but my seat, President Obama at the time walked right past him and shook everybody's yeah. hand. I would have got to meet him again. Probably, I would say either one of the Death Valleys, but you know what? I don't know, Jack. It, it's it's so difficult. Maybe Doak Walker Stadium, Florida State, when Florida State is good. Man, that place yeah. looks like it's rocking. Yeah, that's a, that's a fun place to be. Uh, it wasn't fun for Michigan State going in there getting clobbered. But um, the game on the carrier, that was one that you'll never forget. Tom, what about a venue uh, you have to see before you stop attending games? What would that be? Well, it's, it's, it's going to be the Iron Bowl, and it's, it, I'd rather I'd like to see them at both places, at Auburn and Alabama. I just wish we could talk about Time Machine. I wish I could go back to a, the Iron Bowl, Alabama-Auburn, when it was played at Legion Field in Birmingham, yeah. when, it was, when it was half and half. I've been to Texas OU three games, four games. I've seen that. But Alabama-Auburn, to me, epitomizes the true passion of college football, the pageantry, everything I like about it, where I don't care who wins, just watch it. I love to be at the Iron Bowl. You know what, Tom? That's one for me. Is, is Michigan Ohio State? I've never been to that game before. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> really? No. You can have my uh, <laughs> you can have my credential this year. How about that? <laughs> I appreciate it, Rico? I, I was sure when I asked Tom about the one venue he'd like to be at for a game, he'd say Lucas Oil Stadium because I know he hadn't been there. <laughs> He doesn't know where it is, Jack. I, went, yeah, I did. I went, to pre, I went to media days. I was there. We, 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 I covered you Michigan. Know, three guys, three you, Michigan players I covered at Lucas Oil. You know they play football games there too, don't, don't right? They yeah, I know. I, I, saw the, I saw the field. I, I was on the field. I know. Right, I Rico, you, Rico, you can have lunch with one person in sports and not Tom Crawford. Who would it be? <laughs> wow. One person in sports and not Tom Crawford. Yeah. You know what? You know what? Probably Michael Jordan, just to hear all the stories and to hear just the hate that he has for every player that he played in the NBA. I would love yeah. to hear just one-on-one -on -one unedited stories from Jordan. Well, the uh, the place I'd most like to be is Augusta National, and uh, the best lunch I ever had in sports was with Muhammad Ali. We'll be right back with our weekly awards up next. When you take a look inside Dart Bank, you'll find a banking experience like no other. You'll find that each of our banking offices are made of local people making local decisions. Even through these challenging times, our teams and lobbyists stayed open, ready to help you through all your banking and mortgage needs when you needed us most. So if you're looking to upgrade where you bank, we invite you to come see our DART difference. After all, we've been doing this for over 94 years. DART Bank, for what matters most. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. At Dean Transportation, we call it our passion. It's simply who we are. 60 years of pioneering the best health and safety standards because safe student transportation is essential. We are hardworking folks, connecting children to learning, schools to our communities, and you to a better career. Want to make mid-Michigan a better place? We'll put you in the driver's seat. Join the Dean family today and help to connect our kids to brighter futures. Check out baseball on the Fox Sports app. Live Uncommon. Check out Concordia University and Arbor today. There are seven, and there's only five jackets. Who will score a coveted black jacket? It's a can't-miss Hell's Kitchen Young Guns, Monday on Fox.
Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for a cool and smooth segment brought to you by four great Culver's locations in mid-Michigan. Oakham is north and south, North Lansing, and West Lansing. Since 1984, Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time with scrumptious butter burgers and premium frozen custard. Swing through any Culver's drive through and grab your fresh favorites. That's Culver's. Welcome to Delicious. As they hit the furlong marker for Enze Fire and Yopan, the two of them are battling it out here through the stretch. On the outside for Enze Fire, on the inside it is Yopan. Forenze Fire seems to savage Yopon there in the stretch. But it's going to be Yopon who gets to the wire first. Please. Look at the whole thing. He's going to go. So, yeah. That's the old adage, gentlemen. If you can't beat an opponent, bite their ear off. <laughs> kind of like uh, Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield here in the forego stakes at Saratoga. But you see the horse in the front here. And <laughs> that is Forenze Fire and takes a couple of chops. Out of Yopan, amazing poise by the horse on the rail, continues on and wins anyway. All right, uh, Team 413, who has been as cool and smooth as a Culver's Mint Explosion this week? Rico Beard, what do you have for our play of the week? Well, Jack, for play of the week, you know what, Tom? I thought about you because it was one hell of a run. Zach Charbonnet had a 47-yard yeah. run for UCLA. Looked like he was bottled up, and for, he just came burst out of there like he was shot out of a cannon and just ran in. I mean, what a day for the young man. Like six carries for like 103 yeah. yards and three touchdowns. But that wow. run was very impressive, especially for a week zero run. So just getting out there, new team. I got to give it to Zach Charbonnet. And people said, why did he transfer to UCLA? That didn't make a lot of sense, but I think he just wanted to play in a Rose Bowl. Oh, <laughs> They're playing Hawaii, okay? Let's keep let's just keep perspective here. Hawaii, the rainbows, or whatever they call them. All right. We will keep perspective, and uh, after the Western Michigan game, no <laughs> September Heisman's awarded. All right. Uh, Tom, what do you have for us for our team of the week? Well, I first want to give a quick uh, honorable mention shout out to the Lansing Eastern Quakers football team. They hadn't played in 22 months with, you know, the Lansing schools didn't play football last year. They go out and last Thursday night, they shut out Flint Hamity, 36 to nothing. This Eastern is a program that's only won five games in their last like 83 games heading into that game. So congrats to Jordan Morgan in that, in that program. And Flint Hamity wow. has hadn't had a losing season since 2014. So that's Great. my honorable mention, but I got my team of the week. I mean, kind of Taylor North, man. Representing the state of Michigan, Little League World Series, they beat Ohio five to two. It was dicey there in the last inning. Uh, they got the bases loaded, but they hung in there. First team, first time a team from the state of Michigan wins a World Series, Little League World Series since 1959. And even better, they beat a team from Ohio, right? Yeah, O H I O. Yeah, that's yeah. sweet. <laughs> All right, time for our player or players of the week. And I uh, want to talk about the DeWitt Panthers, defending state champs. And there you see quarterback Tyler Holtz on the left and one of his receivers, that's Bryce Kurtz, on the right. Uh, all Tyler Holtz did against Traverse City Central was complete 18 of 27 passes for 353 yards and six touchdowns at the big house. And Bryce Kearns had five catches for 150 yards and four scores, both tying school records. And uh, maybe, guys, that explains why Mick McCabe of the Free Press says DeWitt and Grand Rapids Catholic Central are the two teams most likely to win a second state championship in one calendar year. DeWitt has a big game at Portland this week, and then they host East Lansing. So we will see what happens there, but congratulations to the Panthers and to Holtz and Kearns for a terrific start. I want to thank Rico Beard, 97 won the ticket, and Blue Belly Tom, Tom Crawford. We'll all be back next Sunday talking about college football, Michigan State, and Michigan in action. Have a good